What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That's right. The big Mac tools truck is here early, early Thursday morning. So you guys can take a look. Let's go. This morning, it is a little yeah. earlier than normal, about two and a half hours earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we had to fix the camera to get the light flickering to stop because it was about to give me epileptic seizures. <laughs> All the tickets are gone, so yeah. That's they all are. of that, guys. I just gotta wait for Memorial Day. There you go. Or the 29th. Yeah. What you that, that weekend? What did you demo that? Somebody uh trade in. Oh. He didn't use it enough, and we want to trade her back in. Well, that's one of the orbital polishers. Yeah. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Got a pretty new box in there. The desert. Tan and black. Gloss black and desert tan. Black, gloss black trim, gloss black drawer. Black emblems. That's a pretty cool rig. A little different color layout. Mm hmm. Well, did y'all get all your flyer stuff in? Or are you still yeah, waiting on something? Yeah, uh, got, got a good bit of it in. Um, waiting on the stuff coming for the new flyer now. A lot of our flyer stuff, it's been going out quick as it comes in with taking a little longer than normal to get some of it right now still, but. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to see y'all got the Mustang in to go with a pickup, so. That's cool. I'll definitely have to be picking up one of these to go with the rest of my set. So those are cool to have. I really bet out of all the stuff that we ordered in for the flyer this go round. <laughs> it, uh. I figure our new, the new 3.8s are going to be coming in any time. I finally got the batteries in for it last night. So. That'll be good. And uh, we got reloaded this weekend. and So I figure with the batteries that have already showed up, the new 3.8s will be here any time. So I know everybody's chomping at the bit for them. I see it. That's going to be a good, what was, do you have the, was it you that showed the new little stream light last week? Which one? Folds out. Yes. Somebody was asking for that part number on that. I don't, mm, probably back here towards the back. I thought we showed it, but I, I guess we didn't since, um, right there. There you go, 74, 850. And that's the Stryon switchblade. It's not the Stinger switchblade, so it's the smaller one. I like this one a lot better because mm -hmm. the Stinger switchblade, to me, was just too big and bulky. Yeah. But. Yeah, they was asking. I was like, man, I thought we showed it's that. It's bright. I don't guess we did. I see you got a. And the EV. Big Mac oil drain pan back there. Yeah, got some of them in. That's yeah. nice. I like them like if it's the air, instead of having to pick them up and dump them. Man, that's, that's a job. <laughs> and any, anybody that's ever used one much knows how valuable that, that, sight, that sight tube mm -hmm. in it. Because, I mean, I know everybody's at least one time as Oh, it's got enough, and about yeah, halfway through, it just starts out. running out the yep. tube down there, you know. That's true. And ain't nothing you can do at that point. Just clean Let it Let it go up. and clean the mess up later, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I like that. That's got a big a big pan on it. Yeah, it, it does have a big, deep pan on it. And then also, it's got one of your splatter shields in it, strainers. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, that was nice right there. Mine, the hose comes out of the bottom, 
and then it comes up where you you know you put it mm -hmm. in your waste oil container it don't have a separate sight gauge and like that's it. another nice thing there about it is you know how that tip the hook on it will sit there and drip and drip mm -hmm. and drip you can take that valve and just turn it off yeah so and you don't have to let it drip forever yeah that's um, nice right there another thing i got in i know we've had several different hammer sets on sale but this is one of my better selling ones there that it's got your dead blow in it your sledgehammer in it and a ball pin in it mm -hmm. so you can kind of just go with whichever one all big ones too looks like yeah all good size ones um so they have to have a whole set of dead blows or a whole set of ball pins or it's right. kind of maybe you're limited on room just want to like stock a roll cart with mm -hmm. you know one of each this is a good way to go on it i need to get one of those transmission adapter pans to go on top of mine the big square one i've actually got a couple of those at the shop they're just big and bulky they're hard to keep on the truck yeah that's what i need to get for mine it make life a whole lot easier than pull that pan and uh, you can just sit there and let it drip and catch all of it yeah I see you got the great big pry bars back in. Yeah, yeah, still got a few of those. Now, if you can't get done with that, something's Hold wrong. it straight up beside you where everybody can see how tall that thing is. I mean, it's... That's a pry bar right there, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Bad thing you feel is, like you're about six year old again. <laughs> if you need this, I don't know that I want anything to do with it. But sometimes that's what it takes. Well, the older I've got, the longer I want my ratchets, my wrenches, and my pry bars. Just the, so I don't have to put out. Exactly. Like, I'll go get that wrench extender. If I put my hand on it, pull on it pretty good, and it don't want to come, i just go get the wrench extender. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even fight with it no more. That four steps to that roll cart is a whole lot easier on me tomorrow than yeah. yanking. This is what I was looking for last week. I couldn't find it. It's a new light we got in. 2500 lumen. Yeah. This thing looks like a radio. Yeah. It's got magnets on it. There. There there hook on this side usb out so you can charge your phone off of it if you wanted to mm -hmm. that's your charging port there 500 a thousand 2500 holy cow That's a bad little dude right It there. is. It must be like a, what is that? That's say when it's on high, you can cook you a weenie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it got built in hot dog grill or what that is there. <laughs> That's what it looks like, don't it? Yeah. I, must this be for is the first kind time of a stand or something. Yeah, you can throw your hot dog on there and put you some stripes on your hot dog. Let's see. It's the first time I've played with this <laughs> light. It just come in, so. So if y'all want a Mac hot dog cooker that doubles as a light, right there you go. Uh, okay. That is made. Therefore, if you got like a pole or a pipe with a, that hook, you can hook it under. Oh. Isn't that nifty? I think a hot dog cooker would be more useful. It, it sounds better, <laughs> you know. That thing's pretty cool right there. That that one's. That thing has got to be super expensive to be that big, bright, and that many magnets on it. I want to say I looked it up the other day, though, and it wasn't that bad. Let me get y'all a part number. It's a little, so y'all strain hard to read it. Yeah, that's a hot dog cooking light. You probably 
search that on Max. Uh, website if you can't find the part number the light with a built-in hot dog cooker on it pretty cool I wonder what the run time's going to be on that thing 279 it's not 279, bad 279 yeah that's better than I thought it would two hours on high eight hours on low which I think with low with that it would be plenty yeah and it's got a motion sensor built in. Mm-hmm. You walk away from it, it'll go off, and come back, it'll come back on. And you can run it plugged up on the cord or just charged off the battery. Hmm. That's pretty cool right there. So, that's like the Mac underhood light. I've got some on order. Um, they also have a motion sensor in them. They're battery power that'll run off your Mac batteries. Um, you know what'll happen, like you'll be still for a minute while you're trying to reach back there in that blind area and get that bolt started. Like you got your head, you know, everything comfortable where you can actually focus on what you're doing and you'll be still for like a minute and that thing will boom, cut off. <laughs> no, it's longer than that on it. But the nice thing is, is, you know, you get called away to go do something is you don't have to worry about turning it off. You can walk away, your battery's not gonna sit there and run dead on you. You can come back, move, and it come back on. So yeah. that is pretty cool right there. And uh, that's the nice part of that that underhood light. And, right. and then now that one that they just come out with as well. That so, joker right there is bright, man. Holy it is. cow! It really? I think is. you'd have to run that one probably on low. You might be able to run it on medium every now and then, but. Unless you're just trying to light up one end of the shop, I don't think you'd ever need 2,500 <laughs> lumens on it. <laughs> that thing's bright. So, For sure. And it's real beefy, and, you know, I think it, if you were to drop it or something, it looks like mm. it's going to hold up pretty good, too. Yeah, so. it seems like a nice light. But. Well, I guess we're going to go in here and finish it. Lovely Dodge. It's a Dodge kind of Thursday. It's part of a Dodge. Work on a transmission. All right, guys. Like always, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. It's free. Click that button. Subscribe. You guys have a great week. Catch you next time. See ya.